So yesterday when I was talking about like uh, the Planet of the Apes video where what if the apes came to Amphibia, I kind of alluded to another idea involving Planet of the Apes coming to a new uh, landscape and what would it be like for them. And that is right here. What if Caesar and his apes came... It, could Caesar and his apes survive Isla Sorna? So that's our video. So in here, instead of the 1960s Planet of the Apes uh, that we used in Amphibia, here I'm going to be using the apes from the newer trilogy. You know, from the new era of uh, Planet of the Apes. We're going to be doing uh, that kind, uh, that incarnation uh, for this uh, for this film, uh, for this video. So, yeah. So let's say, like, Caesar and his his um, his colony of apes have somehow found them found their way to Isla Sorna. Obviously, the big thing they're going to have to run into are dinosaurs. That's that's a no brainer. But, and also, since this isn't like the 60s Planet of the Apes, they aren't packing, like, you know, human-like intelligence, and they're already pack. Well, they are packing... They probably are packing guns. But the one thing is that Caesar and his apes are car usually carry, like, bows and spears and slings. They don't really like to use guns unless it's necessary. So the first thing they're going to do is, like, try to find a treetop colony. Uh, like, try to make their own, like, treetop home build like a like what we saw in the, with the hoover dam or was it not really the hoover dam just like a an electric dam in general where they built like a home um out in the wild and they're gonna start you know far you know they're gonna start farming they're gonna start you know building a colony but i do see it as if they came across like any of the old research facilities they i would imagine caesar and the other apes would probably you know use that as shelter like they would see that as shell uh, like see that as a viable shelter probably find like old resources maybe even some of the weapons that are left behind by um by ingen as part of um as part of their um means for survival now let's get to the part where we all kind of talk about what what they're going to be running into Di obviously dinosaurs so it's very much like it's not like with humans where you know humans can be chased off they can fire back you know with their own guns and whatnot we're dealing with animals that are just it would be almost like the apes going into their own cenozoic era where they would have to be at night you know holding fire and fire probably wouldn't even scare the most of the dinosaurs if anything that's just going to alert you them to you um the di you know, the apes would probably have to like build up uh, defenses. That's why I think they would probably take a lot of advantage from the old InGen uh, research facilities and take what resources they could and try to like get them to work again, like shock sticks, rifles, anything they could use. Like I said, the apes do prefer using like spears and arrows and bows, but they, you know, Caesar isn't a, 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 <laughs> isn't afraid to pull out the strap. You know what I mean? So, and keep in mind. They're fucking apes. They're also pretty strong and have a, you know, they got fists, they got a b strong bite force, and again, these are intelligent apes. So, they could fight on the, you know, they could fight a lot of them. Hell, I even see, like, maybe even some of them hunting some of the smaller dinosaurs. We did see that they were capable of hunting, you know, deer and whatnot, so they would probably, maybe not after the hadrosaurs, unless they could build, like, a really good trap, which I could imagine they do, and that could probably feed them for months, feed the colony for months. But here's where they run into their main competitor. And I'm talking, like, not that... They would probably have to fear the T-Rexes. They'd have to definitely avoid the Spinosaurus, which would be, you know, com is completely vindictive. And, you know, um, just an all-around monster. The one species that would be hunting them, and it would probably be, like, almost like a blood feud, in my opinion... The one species out of any dinosaur on that island that is going to be gunning for them and see them as a major competitor are the raptors. The raptors on Isla Sorna are intelligent, they're, they're problem solvers, they're team, they work as a team, and even as, as um, Alan Grant said, um, they, were as, they were probably even smarter than primates. Especially when we're talking like the JP3 raptors, we clearly see these guys are thinking animals. So the if there was any predator that would 
purposely go after the apes because the raptors would see the apes as a like viable food source and not only that the apes would have a true rivalry with the raptors um the raptors would be just are just as intelligent as the apes they aren't capable of like speech or whatnot and using right and using weapons but these things were thinking these were thinking animals and they were more than capable of problem solving and setting traps of their own now obviously the you know caesar and his apes are capable of like speech they're capable of like you know building weapons but again didn't save anyone on um in the tall grass now did it <laughs> having guns and like having communication and flat and um and flashlights yeah that didn't help a lot of those mercenaries did it <laughs> so the if there was any species that would be a blood feud because the raptor i think the ape uh, the uh, raptors would see them as viable food um and these guys would be just as intelligent as the apes like i like alan grant even said the raptors in jurassic park are said to be as smart as prime like smart at if not smarter than primates but again these aren't your typical primates you know these are evolved primates with a more advanced brain so yeah but i do see the raptors um hunting them even like even if like i could see like the, like i like i've been saying a straight up blood feud between the two like i could see like the apes caesar and the apes like smashing eggs and destroying nests and the raptors sneaking into their compounds and colonies and snatching and dragging away babies to eat and this is how Vin, like this is going to be some michael crichton shit right here where they would drag them off the baby apes into the darkness and keep them hidden enough but close enough where they could hear the other apes could hear their children being devoured and them crying out for help as they're just being eaten that's some michael crichton level shit right there isn't it <laughs> um and again the larger carnivores they would just be as dangerous as the others t-rex um spinosaurus ceratosaurus the allosaurus the carnotaurs those were medium to large predators would probably wouldn't mind feeding on the apes as well so they would have to like caesar and his apes would have to like retool their defenses to accommodate not just these small predators like the raptors but also the massive predators and they would probably have to if the if a like t-rex or spinos or the spinosaurus like came charging into their base and just started wrecking shit uh i do imagine they would have to like pack up and leave and you know being on foot knees of sorn is kind of a death sentence however i do see that while they were capable of conquering apes uh, like con uh, uh, eh, conquering horses and taming them i could maybe see them also taming like some of the sort uh, like some of the dinosaurs like hadrosaurs or maybe even a triceratops or two they'd have to raise it from childhood to get it accommodated to them but i could see the apes almost in a similar situation but i couldn't be certain for that one all in all it's a doable situation for caesar and his apes they have the weaponry they have the intellect and they have the teamwork to work together but isla sorna you know that place is an island of night of genetic as uh alan grant once put it the genetically engineered theme park monsters and if there but if there's one race that could probably hold their own against the apes i mean the um the dinos maybe the apes but yeah it's gonna be tough so you guys tell me in the comments below do you think caesar and his apes could survive on isla sorna just comment below let me know i'm very curious to see what you guys have to say about this one this is a this one was a lot of fun to do I, this was nagging at my brain and i kind of want to do a fan fiction idea that's kind of like an au with jurassic world and Planet of the apes but let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see that too but other than that hope you all enjoyed this i'm mr multiverse i'll see you next time the multiverse